Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we'll be looking at course play on Farming Simulator. Today we'll be looking at how to completely till a field that includes ploughing, harrowing, sowing and fertilising. So let's get started. So now I'm using the New Holland T6, it's the only tractor on this map that isn't working. You can see there that Hamasi 8140 is in traffic. We won't be passing any intention on that because everything else is working away there. You can see the combine in the distance as well. So now, first things first, I already have this field set up for all the difference, but I'll just show you how to do it. So, we get the width of the plow, 3.6, so we reduce this 3.2. You guys, one of the things, especially with tilling, whether it be plowing, harrowing or so on, fertilizing isn't too bad, but to get the whole field done isn't easy now because they cut corners and they get stuck and they do this and they do that and they do the other. That can be hard now so we'll just set this up. Field 4, starting corner, um, where am I? I'm in the south eastern corner and we'll head west and we want to, with the plow you want to do the maximum amount of headlands. That's generally what I do because because the plow is so narrow compared to other machines if you do two or three there's not enough space for them to turn then to do the ups and downs. So that's why I do it that way and we can change it to do the headland first. Or not, sorry, not the headland, ups and downs first. Um, hmm. Can I remember now which way this goes? You can change that one there changes clockwise or anti-clockwise and this one changes the headland before or after and I think that's those ups and downs and then the headland so we'll do it that way because that's the way plows do it in real life so you always do the ups and downs before the headlands so now we will hit the generate course button and first waypoint is there so yeah he's going to do it that way so I'm once I get him going I'm just gonna stand back hit the fast forward button and that's that if he gets stuck I'll fix him and that's it the plowing is simple it's it's just pure dandy you just set up that there's no setting up two courses or anything so we just hit then drive course and he'll do what he needs to do fold it up, then drive to the first point, and then unfold it, now is there an offset in this node or is it? So he should be okay. And then we just let him at it. It look a bit awkward now, plowing the middle of the field, and not like, stopping there, for instance. But it should be okay now. He isn't going to turn the plow and he's going to leave a gap in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what hurt him with the plow and you, you end up with gaps being left in the middle. There's I haven't come across a solution. We might actually change the lane or no the vehicle tool offset. No, I don't know. Wait. Wait, no, he's doing it right there now. Yeah, so you just, it's, it's hit and miss. Hit and miss. So, just hit the fast forward button there and leave him at it.
No, that's him done. So I'll just stop driver and we will tip back into the yard and get the harrow. Now we'll harrow the field. You can see the job is sort of iffy you now. I did a nice enough job going up and down, but the size of the field has a lot again it. I just kept it, did it in a small field so it wouldn't take as long because the internet is shocking bad. You can see the 35 there drawing grain. So we'll just tip in and we'll throw in the plow there beside the, the fusion square baler, or the, sorry, not the fusion, the hail square baler and the sore. I have to unfold them to take off the plow. Won't let him sit standing up. So no. That's grand. We go around here a bit and we'll up. Around here a bit. And there's the hara. Back up, put him on to back, back out to the field, and we'll set him up. Now he'll do much of the same a job. He's a six meter, so I generally run the course play at five meter. I are the yeah the course play the the width of the harrow I set to five meters instead of six, so it does a better job. It leaves less of that sort of bits that the plow missed. It leaves less of that and it does a nicer job altogether now. So here put this to five maybe five and a half it's up to yourself uh, fuel for same directions but we want to change this now back to mm, two maybe three we'll go three just to be on the safe side you have lots of space to turn we want to change this back that he does the headland before he does the ups and downs you could do it the other way around it doesn't matter but I find it better that way when doing the harrowing anyway so we hit generate course and we start our first waypoint and we just drive up to the first waypoint there. Snow. We hit the drive course and do the same again. This is this is just simple. Then as we see the next you can set up a second course to go to where seed is to collect seed but in this map the fields aren't big enough to do it. If you were playing on the American map or some of the fields in the Swedish one that come with the game, you may need to because of the size of the fields. So I'll just we'll talk more about that when I get that far. I just hit the fast forward button and hopefully he'll speed up a bit. Now, that's him finished. There's one thing I forgot to mention before I did that, is the relation of the tractor to the machine and the turn and circle of the tractor. If you have a very big tractor, like some of the T9s or the quad tracks, and you put the likes of that hero behind it, you'll end up, he'll be missing, he'll be missing bits, ups and downs, he'll miss a big stripe there and it'll be all over the place. Or, 
with some of the mods their tractors turn and circle isn't good enough and you have the same problem just something to keep in mind and if that's happening that's what's wrong I do like the T6 or the Puma 160 as they don't do that they're, they're very nice very good in that, that regards nice tight turn and circles so that's that now we go drop this off back in the shed and we'll pick up the sore now as I was mentioned earlier the sore has to, it uh, when it's running when the sower is running on a course it uses seed and it'll run out of seed if the field is big enough and or if it's not full enough when you start it. So none of the fields in this that I've encountered yet are big enough to empty the seed or when full. But in other maps you can where the field is bigger than the capacity of the seeder, all you got to do is when you generate your field course you generate another course running from the field to a place where there is seed available and then back again and it works the same as any of my previous videos drawn silage or anything like that so it just works the exact same as you can see there it's not quite full and one thing I always do because I don't bother setting courses running from the field back so it just takes too much time it's just as handy once you're finished or if you think you won't have enough seed just tip back in here and fill her up. Now there is enough space to do a full turn and circle in course play just in case you're wondering. You can even do it with the lorry and the biggest trailer you can get. There's enough space to turn it there in a full circle without having to reverse. So we just refill that now and while we're waiting we can be generating the course. So just X that down. The working with a 6 meter I put a 5 meter to try and get as good a coverage as it can everything else is basically the same it's literally you're running the harrow course and the sewing course exact same unless you are using different sizes that's the only that's the only thing you might have a difference in them or maybe if well not so much if you use the different tractor it should still work good so we'll just tip back out to the field generate course same again back out line them up to the start point and hit drive and he'll sew away. So it's fairly simple that. What you could have done with that, setting up a second course for if it emptied, that's about the hardest part to it if you wanted to make it life hard for yourself. That's as hard as this whole tilling thing gets. Right, and it's, it's a bit messy, missing bits here or there and yonder, but it's the quickest. You can set him up and have him running away and go up and start baling straw yourself or set someone up baling straws. Uh, personally, I use Corsplay to do everything I can on this. I'm just lazy, I don't know why. Just do so. Just hit drive course. Oh, wrong tool for this mod. That's another thing I forgot to mention. When you're using the seeding, you need to change it to fertilizer and seeding. Also, the same when you're using the fertilizer spreader because they can run out. So, you just hit drive course and he works away there and I'll hit that fast forward button again and we'll fly through this and we'll get onto the fertilizing and then that's that you know what to do if you didn't already know
No, that's him done. So on to the final step. Does a nice job. The ridge marker sort of makes a bit of a, a pig's ear of it. But sure. This is the lazy man's way of doing it. So we just hit stop driver. And we drive on home. You could just go around then once you're finished. And just hit B and well. And fall at first. But like you could sew away there. At the bits that you missed afterwards. It's up to yourself. But it does look bad, especially in a field like that, because of its size. Its size does not help things. If it was in a bigger field, you might notice it as much. So, just back her in here, beside the plow. Pick up the fertilizer spreader, and we'll fill it. And it's the same as the saw. It, it'll, it, um, of course, uses the... Um, fertilizer in and it will run out and there is fields in this map which it will run out the likes of field 3 field 9 and I think field 2 will also do it it's already full and all but there is fields in this map that is able to empty this one if you had the big bulk, sp bulk spreader you'd be grand but it's the same as before if you want to make sure that that stays full you just first put your course down for the field then of course from the field to the um, where the fill point is, he either he ha put a weight point there or just stop and start another course a few feet on. Either way works. Drive back to the field and same as spreading slurry, drawing silage, any of the previous videos I've done where you have two courses similar, that's how she works. Simple. So we'll just X down this, hit this, hit that, that's 26. I set that back to. Yeah, 24. 2 meter short. Yes, good coverage. Field 4, southwest. You only need to do 1. 1. Like, there's not much point doing 2 because 24 meters. Uh, 26, really, but 24, that's slots. Hit that. You don't even have to drive to first, or line her up at first waypoint because she's not going to get stuck in the head. So, all I do. I just make sure I'm in the vicinity of the field, I hit drive course, and it's just that short, it's literally once around the field, maybe once up and down, and that's it. Job done. I'm not over particular on how well they spread the fertilizer, so, that's just purely because, I don't really see benefit in it, but I just do it because, to make it more realistic, and I'm trying to get the soil mod onto this map. But I haven't had any success. So if anyone out there has this soil mod ready, please let me know. Please send me a link or something because I I'd love to have a work on that. I've never actually tried. I've never downloaded a map that has it ready. Just haven't really got around to it. Meant it, but just haven't got around to it as of yet. So as you can see, he's one up and down. Or he's actually going to go up the field and then down again. Oh whole lot of point in it he's still going to do it regardless so like that's it it's just pure handy you could you can make well you could nearly make it that he goes from field to field to field passing by the um, fill point every time I haven't tried it but I think it would work and you could line up all your fields in a string and he goes through every one of them and does them all. So that's it. You know how to do it now. It is bog standard. It couldn't really get much simpler than that. So that is it from me. In my next video, I I don't know. I might go and do one on bale and straw and gather gathering it with a wagon, or I might just look at Aho Combine, which is another mod, which is a brilliant mod. It surpasses course play by miles, but only works for combines. So, that is it for me now. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And please don't be afraid to leave a comment. And tell me if I'm doing stuff wrong, or what you'd like to see done, or ask me questions. I don't really mind. Just like, hit, leave a few comments there. So, that is it for me. Good luck!